Hi guys, welcome back. Today's class is all about helping you get rid of back pain in your pregnancy. It's safe for all stages of pregnancy. You don't need any props, just your mat, and we're gonna start over on our hands and knees. So we're gonna take a nice stretch for the back first. So I want you to be with your knees as wide as your hips, your wrists, elbows, shoulders stacked on top of each other. And you're just in a, a neutral spine here. So your back should be relatively flat. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to tilt your pelvis, round your spine and you push up towards the sky. So you get a nice stretch across the upper back. And then just coming back to the flat back. So if you weren't pregnant, you'd then do uh, the extension where you lift your chest, but that can be a little, too, a little bit too much on the ab abdominal muscles. So we don't wanna do that. We just want to round, push up. And then come back to your neutral spine. Let's do that a couple of times. Get that nice stretch in the back. Coming back to the neutral. And again, two more. Flat back. And one more. And then coming back to your flat back. And we're gonna take some big circles with your hips now. So you want to move your hips to the side, drop back down towards your heels, push your hips to the other side and circle. So really big circles so that you feel the stretch in the sides of your body, in your back, in your hips. There's kind of no right or wrong way to do this. I just want you to start to become aware of your body so you know where the sore places are or where the tight places are and you can linger a little longer in those spots. And then we're gonna take those circles and do it the other way. Two more. All right, so we're gonna come back up onto our hands and knees and we're gonna lengthen through the spine. So what I want you to do here is to bring your big toes to touch and your knees wide. So sort of like setting up for a child's pose, but we're not gonna do a traditional child's pose because I find that it's kind of, um, it compresses through your, through your bump really, and we don't want that. So I want you to sit your hips back, and then I want you to stretch your arms forwards. Now we don't want a curvature in the back, we want the back flat, and I want you to have that action of your hips pushing back, but you're lengthening and stretching forward. So it's like you're being pulled in two opposite directions. And you'll start to feel that nice stretch in your back if you want to, you can rest your head down to the ground. And so you're just taking a breath in, you relax through your core and as you exhale, you can draw in slightly so your bump draws in. And stretching a little bit more, getting more length. and then come up onto your hands and knees again. Okay, so we're just gonna do a bit of a strengthening exercise for the lower back because it's, it's equally as important to strengthen our muscles. So stretch your right leg out, point through your toe, and then we're just gonna raise the leg. So I don't want your leg coming higher than the hips. I want it to either be lower like this, or I want it to be relatively level. So very stable in your body looking slightly forwards. If it hurts your knees, you can put cushions under your knees or you can roll your mat over a few times. I want you to be comfortable. Three, four, five, and release. Switching legs, left leg extending out now. 
and up you come. Stabilizing your body as you move through this exercise. Two more. And release. All right. I'm going to get you to come and stand up and you're going to need to be against a wall or a door or something like that for this. Step your feet away from the wall or the door and you're going to bend your legs and sit against the wall. So at the moment you should be in a neutral spine, meaning that there's a little bit of space between the wall and your back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tilt your pelvis so your pelvis lifts up and you'll feel how your back presses into the wall now. We're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Just making sure that when you do that, you're not expanding through your ribs, but the ribs are drawing in. And then you can come back to a neutral spine. Again, take a breath in. And we're going to flatten our back and draw the belly in. It's okay to do that when you're pregnant. Just draw it in slightly. And release. So it's okay to do abdominal exercises when you're pregnant. The important thing is that you do the right ones because the wrong abdominal exercises can cause damage to your core muscles and you don't want that. So you really need to know what is safe and how to do them properly. So let's go again. Breath in, flatten your back, pelvis lifts up, belly draws in slightly on your exhales. And release, let it go. We're going to do one more. All right, breath in. And flatten our back, pelvis lifts up, holding it here. Breathing. All right, okay. Stand with your feet wide. Turn your toes in towards each other. And you're just going to come forwards. You can let your head hang here. And you get that really nice stretch through your lower back. If you ever feel dizzy in an inversion like this, then I want you to very carefully just come down to the mat, sit down or lie down. And then we're gonna come down onto our bums and we're gonna take a nice hip stretch to end. So you're just going to bring your hands behind you, lean back, bring your right foot up and over so it's above your knee and then you're going to sit forwards a little bit more and you'll start to feel that stretch through the outer part of your hip. The more you walk your hands in and the more you bring that front leg in, the more you're going to feel that stretch. So I want you to just play around with that and see where is the appropriate place for you. Being mindful that it's easy to overstretch in pregnancy, so um, don't take it too far. All right, let's hold it here for a few breaths. You can close your eyes if you want. And just taking the time to do a few exercises, a few stretches, a few deep breaths can have a really profound impact on your body and your the quality of your day your pregnancy. All right, let's take our hands back a little bit to release out, bring the other leg up, and then we're just lifting up a little bit more. And you can flex the foot as well so the foot stays activated. And just finding that place where you want to hold it. And take your hands a little further away and release that leg. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining class today, guys. I hope it really helps with your back pain. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. And I will see you for the next video.
Bye, guys.